Hello everyone and welcome to Monday Night Woodworking with your host, Mark McMakes His Stuff. Hi, I'm Bobby Buys His Stuff, filling in for Mark this week. Now I once taped together two chopsticks to build a back scratcher, but that's the extent of my woodworking knowledge. But the network said, get in there, so I'll do my best. Let's head down to the field and check in on the action. It appears this fella is holding a yellow stick in the air under a table. Whoa! I know it's early for a replay, but did you see that? Wow, his yellow stick sleight of hand is incredible. Now he's got a big piece of wood, probably from a really big tree, and it appears he's going to use the yellow stick again. Oh, let's see if he does it. Well, he hasn't been much for showboating after last season's matchup against the coffee table. Now he's turned on the TV and hides for a second and is slowly sliding the tree on a table towards the red thing. Holy shit, it's in two pieces now. Okay. He's going to slide it again, it would appear. Oh, wait. You can tell he didn't like that last one. Are we going to see the aggression boil up from his rookie year? There it is. You can tell he's been in the weight room during the offseason. We've changed venues now and he's got an even bigger tree and he's brought over an ironing board. Yep, there's the yellow iron. Okay, so we must be getting the wrinkles out here. Whoa, probably should turn the heat setting down a little bit. Back where we started, he's making some more rectangles, but it appears he's got a bit more pep in his step. Now we've got a bucket and a paintbrush. Oh, he's gonna paint the rectangles, I'm sure of it. Looks like he's starting with a night nice sky. The background for a happy little tree, maybe? <laughs> hey, hit that graphic button, will you? Now he's gonna put his canvas on a printing press. Probably streamlining some autographs for the crowd here in Denver. Okay, so it looks like he's gonna squirt some curdled eggnog on one piece and then stand the other one up and bring in an L for some reason and use a police taser on it a couple times. Hey graphic guy, get on it. Looks like the other side gets more Boston cream and prevents it too from resisting arrest. Another round of banana pudding and puts another piece on. Okay, you know what, he's probably making some type of dog kennel here. Maybe for a small breed, like a Pomeranian or some type of Spaniel, likely. In the kennel now, writing something down and then grabs a T. What is it with this guy in letters? Oh, and there's the lowercase L. Looks like he's zapping in some curtain rod brackets. Maybe this is a dog washing box and not just a kennel. Okay. I'm starting to follow now. It's going to slide a dirtier looking piece of wood on the table now and stops to turn on the TV again and puts on, I don't fucking know, cocoa butter, uses another type of gun, but it doesn't really look like it's doing anything. And solid dismount for the 36 year old there. Looks like some wheels are going on. So maybe this is a mobile grooming box. Maybe he's planning on starting a small business. Great foresight there. The careers of these guys can be pretty short and it's good to have a direction after they leave the league. Now he's got some more pieces over at the uh, wood guillotine and he'll slide those across the table again, but this time with a yellow Lego looking thing. Those dirtier pieces of wood go on and he pulls back out the gun that does nothing. His ears must have gotten cold and now he's in the hurry up offense again, showing great poise here inside the two minute warning. But stopping for more autographs for the fans is not great clock management. Okay, he's already made a mini grooming box pre-game, so he should be okay on time. I'll write some more stuff down and put on some decorative trim and then do a Russian nesting doll situation with the grooming stations. We'll get in tight on the action. Uh, yep, sorry. And he slides more shit across the table. And he's tired of the TV being on. Now, what the fuck is this thing? He rubs some more wood across a blue nipple and then 
preps for surgery. Nope, he's definitely painting again. But there seems to be something wrong with that paint. Unhappy trees. <laughs> now he's changing the mini grooming box from blue to wood and using some other type of rectangle in the crack. Oh no, a devastating blow this late in the game. Could we see a second bat break in one game here? No, this time the 10 year vet shows restraint under pressure and tries from another angle. He wants the upper box wood colored as well. Wait, wait, it looks like he can't pull it out now. Come on, blow up, throw something. Ah, he's got it. Back on its side, he's making a couple holes. That's smart, dogs have got to breathe somehow. What was the point of making all those holes if he's just gonna cover it up with black brass knuckles? As time expires, he parks his Russian nesting dog wash under the table and heads for the locker room. Well, I've been Bobby Buys' stuff, and from all of us here at Monday Night Woodworking, good night.